Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski and this is Trailers from Hell. Today you're in for a real treat, a 3D trailer for a movie that's not in 3D. It's Real Life from 1976, starring and directed by Albert Brooks and written by Brooks, Harry Shearer, and Monica Johnson. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm Albert Brooks. I've just completed a motion picture so exciting that the following announcement will be presented in 3D, so you can literally feel the excitement. This is a postmodern trailer. It contains not one shot from the film it is selling. It's a trailer that is aware that it is a trailer. Albert Brooks is one of the first conceptual comedians, like Andy Kaufman or Steve Martin. The subject of his humor was often humor itself. He started as a stand-up, and his comedy albums were brilliant. Comedy Minus One required the listener to become part of the act. A Star is Bought was actually about its own marketing concept, Albert trying to make a hit track for every radio format in America. That record is very hard to find, but it's worth tracking down. It's probably the best comedy album ever produced. Albert made mind-blowing appearances on Johnny Carson's The Tonight Show that deconstructed what entertainment was supposed to be. He'd come out as a mime that would not stop talking, or a ventriloquist who made no attempt not to move his lips. He then moved into filmmaking. He did a short for public television called The Famous School for Comedians, in which he developed an educational program to help amateurs become professionally funny. Albert analyzes humor so thoroughly that for many, he is no longer funny. It's like he goes through a black hole of comedy. He makes me laugh my head off. A series of short films for the first season of Saturday Night Live made Albert famous, and he got his shot to make a feature film. He chose as his subject reality television, long before there was such an industry. This movie was way ahead of its time. Real Life is technically a parody of a PBS documentary called An American Family, in which movie cameras invaded an average American home to observe the family dynamics. But of course, having cameras in your home completely disrupts everything. That's what real life is about, how filming something changes it. When showbiz comes into your life, there is no reality. I love that Albert Brooks in this film plays comedian filmmaker Albert Brooks, and he makes him one of the most vile, self-involved characters in the history of film. So check out Real Life, there's so much good stuff in it. The single one bit out, the Ettenauer cameras Albert gets so his crew can be uh, unobtrusive. They look like massive underwater sea helmets, but Albert proudly boasts, only six of these cameras were ever made, only five of them ever worked. We have four of these. Stanley Kubrick was a big fan of this movie and of Albert's second effort, the brutal romantic comedy Modern Romance. Both are great films about the filmmaking process. I think Albert Brooks is a genius, which is appropriate because his birth name is actually Albert Einstein. I kid you not.